Today we are going to expose everything about deism. We will explain how illogical and meaningless deism is, and we ask the deists who watch this video to think again after. Please subscribe to our channel if you would like to watch our other videos where we discuss scientific, metaphysical and parapsychological unusual phenomena. Let's dive in. What is the basic claim of deism? What exactly do deists stand for? What do they believe in? They accept a creator, but they don't accept anything outside of him, right? They accept the existence of a creator, they accept that he established order, but they say, he left afterwards. They say there was no intervention, no prophets, no religions, no holy books, no rules. They base these claims entirely on human reason. They find it meaningful that the Creator left after creating, but they don't explain why he left, they just claim that the universe manages itself instead of the Creator. Here comes our first question, doesn't the continuity of an order require the continuity of the person who established it? If the one who established the order had left it to itself, wouldn't it have collapsed instead of continuing? And what does science say? The law of entropy, one of the most fundamental laws of the universe, says that disorder in the universe is constantly increasing in a unidirectional way. So if a system is left on its own, it will break down and collapse very quickly, whereas all the systems in the universe have been surviving and regenerating for a long time, depending on wonderful and tiny measurements. This is proof that it is not left to itself. Basically what we are saying then is, if order exists, if order continues, it exists because of the one who maintains it. Because if the order is left to its own devices, it will require maintenance and repair over time. Without this maintenance and repair, it will perish according to the most fundamental law of the universe. For billions of years, the universe has not only not collapsed, but it has been accelerating perfectly, and in accordance with this acceleration, the whole universe has been prevented from falling apart by dark energy. This requires an ever-increasing energy, and it has become much more difficult to be a deist now that it has stunned the scientific world that this energy did not come from the Big Bang in the beginning, but was provided by a power that we do not know and cannot see. Yes, let's move on to the second question. Here comes the question that will convince a sincerely researching deist. If there are new updates in a game or in a software, if new characters or new skin levels whatever are coming to a game through updates, then we have to say that the person behind it, who programmed it, who made it, is also constantly active, planning and implementing it. It wouldn't be compatible if it didn't keep working or if it didn't keep updating the system based on the systems that are constantly being updated. Let's look at the universe. Is there an update? There is constant updating. Today you can hear the sound of a baby crying, right? Three babies are born every second. On average 350,000 people are born every day. So God sends new characters to this world like a game developer add new characters on the game, isn't it? When you look at animals, when you look at plants, we can see that they are constantly being updated and renewed. People with different faces, different voices, different characters are being sent into the world. What does this constant renewal and constant creation and change show us then? There is a constant updating in the universe. Billion of stars are being recreated, billions of galaxies are being pulled or pushed towards one another at increasing speeds. All the while we are not shaken because the force exerted on us is constantly being increased so that we remain stable. The parameters of the universe are constantly changing, and some great scientists say that this is a great chaos. 
Who is constantly adjusting and changing such a complex setting of such chaos? Recent research has shown that the universe is expanding at an increasing rate. Whereas before it was assumed that it was expanding with the energy released in the Big Bang, so it was thought that it was slowing down because the energy was gradually decreasing. Recently it has been realized that outside of the Big Bang, this energy is constantly being given, but who is giving it? The idea that God created the universe at the Big Bang and left it alone was one of the old scientific claims. But now it has been disproved. An ever-increasing amount of dark energy is being put into the universe to hold it together, so God continues to create. Why do we say darkness? Because we don't know, we can't see, and we can't detect it in any way with the tools we have now. Sound familiar to you? Science, being helpless, has defined it as dark energy, but nobody knows what it is. As people of faith, we can call it God's help. All the addresses lead to him. It shows a person who is constantly active, who does not leave, like in a game that is constantly being updated, updated by its programmer. As a 3th question, we can also ask this, there is a purpose in everything. When you look at the fly, when you look at the fly's wing, there is a purpose, when you look at the solar system, there is a purpose, when you look at human beings, there is a purpose in our eyebrows, there is a purpose in our eyelashes. Could God, who has put a purpose in everything, have created the whole universe without a purpose? From the fly to the atom, to the diversity of elements, from the smallest to the largest, has he put a purpose to everything? He has, there is no need to discuss this because we already see it. Everything has a purpose. This is already accepted by all rational deists. So let's go back to our question, is it possible that a being who gives so many purposes to everything he has created, from the smallest to the largest, would not give a purpose to human beings, who are the most beautiful and the most important among the beings he has created, and leave them without a purpose. Even the wing of a fly has a purpose, yet he created man and left him without a purpose. Of course it is not possible. So how do we know our purpose? That is the most important purpose, to know God. I was created to know God. That is the biggest purpose. But deism says, he created and left. Then how will I recognize him? Is there no purpose? Why did I come? Why was I sent? And the people who I love die and go away. Now then, wait a minute, there has to be a purpose here. All these question marks need to be answered. If there is a purpose in everything I see, then there must be a purpose in me, and prophets must come to explain my purpose. God created the world with a purpose and chose to explain it through messengers and religion. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please subscribe the channel and hit the like button and also comment what you think about deism.